Hi, welcome to the channel. I am Hasu, and today we're going to be talking about Soto 4 Arena Ultimax. Yay! So, in a previous video, uh, I'll put that link up there in the top right corner, the little freaking icon, if you would like to see that video in your own time, or before this video, and then come back and watch this. I talked about the seven predictions of Persona 25th Anniversary announcements. This was one of them. Uh, at this time, I did not think this would be when we got it in early December when the Game Awards happened. Well, it was the pre-show, but you know, either way, it doesn't matter. The point is, not only did I not think that we would get that at that time, I thought that would be the first announcement and then we would get something else. We did get it during the Game Awards, but then also the second announcement was just the recap of Arena Ultimax being released. So uh, it's kind of useless information. Uh, it's kind of a boring ass announcement, not gonna lie. I thought I was hoping it wasn't going to be a recap, but then it turned out to be a recap. So that was great. <laughs> and just more shop announcements, which is fine. The the merchandise announcement, that's great. Whatever, that's fine. However, uh, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax mm, being announced at the Game Awards and then the second announcement just being a recap and some merch was a little... Uh, uh, unfortunate to say the least. Now you're probably wondering, why do I have this theme thing up? Obviously, we're gonna be talking about this game. Now, there have been some updates. I'm not gonna really go into it too much, but I will inform you what has been happening. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax is coming with the arcade version, the 2.5 version, which is never been released outside of uh, Japanese arcade cabinets, which is amazing. That's gonna be phenomenal. However, unfortunately, they did inform us that we are not gonna be getting rollback netcode day one, which is unfortunate. Uh, but for obvious reasons, it makes sense, right? Not only one, people might not buy it. Two, who cares? It's a hard situation to support. Not only do I understand that, not only is it hard to make this game and remaster it, to also take some of that budget and say, hey, we are gonna do rollback because that isn't simple. It's not just, all right, we can shove it in and it'll work, right? No, you have to redo a lot of the code. You have to replace a lot of the network coding in the original version on top of the remaster. So not only do they have to remaster the game, but they also have to code in the new rollback on top of that. And obviously that can unfortunately cause a lot of bugs, a lot of issues in any video game. Not just, not just a freaking 2D arcade fighting game. It can happen anywhere. And why does, why do I think Atlas is doing this? Is obviously they want to get the remaster out, right? Get the game out. And I mean, obviously, for me personally, I say Dragon Ball Fighters is a good example of who cares, who gives a shit. The players are still gonna play the game, regardless of whether ah yes it's rollback or it's delay based. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people still play it, and uh, we still have Dado Doya, we still have uh, Lotus, we have all these uh, whoever else is playing it. Those are the two people I watch mainly. But but the point is, is that Atlas is making a bet on this game, right? It's kind of hard not to, because if they place their bet on a rollback, they could be losing a lot of money if people don't buy it. However, they do have data that has proven Catherine Classic, SMT Nocturne, uh, HD, Persona 4 Golden. Those games have done well. However, obviously, they probably need Ultimax to do a lot better than they hope it would. But however, obviously, the height of gaming right now and fighting games at the moment due to a bunch of games due to Dragon Ball Fighters, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Guilty Gear Strive. Obviously, those are just, you know, the prominent ones that I think of. Or even like Street Fighter or Tekken. All of these other games as well that are still getting updates. The fighting game scene is very prominent. But at this point now, they're all clamoring and saying, no, rollback is a, now a legitimate, unfortunate requirement. They don't realize that that costs money. And unfortunately, Atlas does not have that kind of money. Yes, I understand. Atlas is now, they have clout, right? They have the respect. They are in the mainstream. They are known by people around the world. Very big company now, comparatively speaking. However, it's on people's radars, right? However, the unfortunate issue is obviously that they don't have the resources yet. They don't have the teams, they don't have the money, they can't be doing all these remasters. They're, they're basically overloading themselves as it is. And we should be freaking so lucky that SMT5 came out when it did in November. It, could, it should have potentially come out later. But luckily that was a worldwide release, technically speaking. Even though it was only a day difference. But whatever, that, that's not the point. The point is, is that all of these games are doing well. Persona 5, Persona 5 Royal, Catherine Classic, Catherine Full Body. All of these Atlas games have set up Persona 4 Arena, right? Obviously Persona 4 Golden has set up Arena Ultimax. However, this also brings up the other issue is that Arena Ultimax is cross-platform. It's gonna be on Switch and PlayStation. So where's Golden? 
on both the Switch and the PlayStation. Well, it is available technically on the Vita, but that's a dead console, and also nobody has a TV or probably has a Vita anymore, maybe, potentially. I mean, and if you want to buy those, they're going to each cost roughly $300, probably. I don't know how much. I bought my TV when it was like 100 bucks still, when it was not prominent, but on its way out before. Now it's probably a collector's item that's worth $100, $200. I don't know. I'm not going to look it up because I don't give a shit. I got mine, and that's all that matters because now I can play Vita games and buy Vita games as I see fit. But the issue here is obviously that also raises another flag, right? Because Golden was on PC only, so if they want Ultimax, Arena in Ultimax and they haven't experienced Golden, then they're going to be forced to go to PC, right? So that will legitimately probably potentially remove sales. However, there are people who are like, oh, I don't care about the story. I just want a good fighting game, right? So then they'll still buy it on the PlayStation or the Switch or whatever. So that's fine. That's not a, that's not a problem. But the problem is, is that people who are legitimately interested in Persona 4, right? Like we have Persona 4 Golden. That's on the on, on, uh, on PC. So if you want to experience Arena's narrative, you're going to have to go to PC. However, I own both the Arena and Arita Ultimax PS3 versions. And this was way before, this is like years ago. I bought them sealed for like 40 bucks each before, you know, all the Atlas hype had popped off and every game now is like a 200 potential dollars, you know. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the collector's editions were already $200, but that, that, that's not the point. The point is, is that now those games are worth a lot. However, the point is now people aren't going to be able to get those games. And the only way they can is now through this remaster. And weirdly enough, if they don't have the story, obviously they're going to have to go to PC. I mean, it's fine. But, you know, some people don't use PCs. They're potentially console mains, right? They only have consoles because, well, either one is cheaper or two, they just prefer it. It's whatever. It's fine. And maybe they just use laptops. But again, they might not play video games on their PCs like I do or other gamers that are probably hard or core into the gaming scene. Who's part of the community? They're probably more into games than other people are. But this is good, right? Because what does this game do? This game gives us some leeway. It gives us an appetizer. Something to eat while we're waiting. Now you're probably wondering, what are we waiting for? N no fucking shit. Who, 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 what? It's Persona 5 Arena. Duh. That's why they're doing this. One, to help pay for Sony, uh, Persona 5 Arena, which probably is already being made, but, you know, this will help boost the budget or whatever, or this will potentially go to not only paying for this game, potentially paying for rollback, but also, you know, supporting other games that are coming from Atlas, right? Which is fine, which is good. There was a YouTuber I was watching, Sean something, P, I don't know, I forgot, I forgot his name. Presley, there we go. Uh, I, Sean something, something Presley, I don't remember. But their last name was Presley or, or something like that. He was talking about how Persona 4 Arena Ultimax being digital only is sending the game out to die. Which is highly inaccurate because not only one, digital games are prominent now more than ever. Because guess what? COVID. Two, you don't have to go out and actually buy the game. You can just buy the game on your console and have it downloaded until the until they tell you hey it's ready to re you're ready to play it you know down pre download it and then eventually just it unlocks uh, at midnight whenever midnight is right in the u.s for me it's 9 p.m because i'm on the west coast right but technically in the u.s it is midnight on the east coast so 9 a.m for me it'll unlock and i'll be able to play the games if they're digital right however it's also for like collecting purposes also it's just easier right digital you don't have to open the box pull out the disc put in the new one you don't have to go through all that rigmarole you can just open the game when you see fit so digital is prevalent and prominent more than any now more than ever so i would say that is highly inaccurate right especially again let me repeat myself catherine classic any atlas game that is on this I'll, I'll show you right now. I'll, we'll just go back to my library, my normal library. Catherine Classic, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, Persona 4 Golden, Persona 5 Strikers, Perso uh, uh, Persona, <laughs> SMT3, Nocturne, HD Remaster. These five Atlas games are doing really well. And look at it, even Bayonetta. And what, what's the other one? Uh, Vanquish is also from Sega. They ported their original games over to PC. And guess what? Catherine Classic, Persona 4 Golden, both of these games sold sold half a million copies and guess what these games were like traditional jrpgs catherine classic is a very niche game compared to all of these other ones right so the fighting game community is supporting persona 4 arena ultimax right they're gonna support it because let's see dnf duel is coming out project l from riot games or sorry whatever fucking company is league of legends um so for me personally 
this game is gonna do well. It's multi-platform. Even the original game that I played, its netcode was great. I, all the mechanics worked. I never really had any issues compared. Even compared to like Dragon Ball Fighters, I feel like a 4 Arena is a better game, potentially, from what I have played. I haven't gone too heavy into it, but I've really enjoyed Arena Ultimax over Dragon Ball Fighters. I love the art design, and the art design is amazing, because guess what? It's just Persona 4 Golden, but in a fighting game, and that's awesome. So for this game not to do well, especially with Nocturne HD doing well and Strikers doing well, how do I, how do, how do I not? How do I not see this as being a success? Obviously, yes, digital only is like a bit of a hindrance because some people like physical games, like me, right? Who like collecting games. However, Pres uh, Presley, whatever, call him P, whatever. He did mention that, hey, Atlas had opened a shop, which they did. It's called Shop Atlas, which is a... I, I enjoy it. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's good that they're selling merch through that way. However, do I like the fact that they're using announcements in the anniversary to announce merchandise? Not really. Um, it, it, obviously, it's not for me, right? Certain things, like the Persona 4 Arena Ultimax was for me because it's a video game and I like it. Obviously, the merchandise is extra. Personally, for me, that's what merchandise is. It's just extra content, right? On top of the games or or apparently the card game that we're getting. But at least that wasn't the announcement. That was just its own dumb thing that wasn't part of the anniversary, which is cool, which is fine. Um, just an interesting thing that they're doing, which oh, fuck, I'm, a, I'm an Atlas whore. I'm, I, I, I have claimed that I am the self-proclaimed, I'm the self-proclaimed captain of the Atlas whoredom. So, obviously, I'm gonna whore myself out and buy Persona V, the versus card game. Anyway, the point is, is that eventually this game getting rollback, I think, will happen. It, eventually, right? If there's an, one, if there's enough people buying the game, two, if there's enough people playing it constantly, and maybe potentially the rollback will just be an additional, hey, one, it'll be an update, two, it'll bring, maybe potentially give us more characters, not Persona 4 cast or anything, but maybe like Raido Kuzunoha or somewhere from SMT or from the Atlas verse. That's what I'm calling it now, Atlas verse, because SMT, Persona, they all kind of take they all kind of are part of it so i'm gonna call it the atlas verse from now on i think that is what's gonna be happening we'll probably get the game we'll get rollback in a future update potentially a paid dlc or a paid update maybe we'll get updated characters maybe they'll fix things even further i i would love to see it maybe they'll add persona q uh <laughs> persona q outfits and shit maybe i don't know they'll so like hey here's the persona 4 q persona 3 q uh, designs, right? The more like chibi styles. But there's so much they can do, and obviously, most likely, we might get a more new paid DLC. Atlas does do that. Legitimate reasons. They aren't big enough to be like, hey, here's all our DLC for, DLC for free. You know, they have to pay bills. They have to, you know, they have all these resources they need to <laughs> deal with, and other games they're currently making. So having paid DLC just makes sense. We'll probably have more additional colors, have other things. I, I don't know. I don't know what they're planning on doing with the DLC because I don't really care about it, but I mean, I'll buy it. I don't care if it helps support the developers and I know these are good developers, then I'm not, I'm not going to waste my time shelling out money. And if you like Atlas, then you should know that this is just an exception to the rule because Atlas is a phenomenal company. Every game I have played and every game I am playing currently, which includes Persona 3 and Raido Kuzunoha versus the Soulless Army, the first game, 15 years ago at this point, are phenomenal games. I enjoy them. Well, I like Raido more than Persona 3, but that, that, that doesn't matter. Um, because those old games, I'm still finding interest in them. That's it. That, that's all I got to say. I mean, if Shop Atlas will make their own physical copies, Persona 4 Arena Ultimax, then great. And maybe in February, which is a month before uh, Ultimax comes out on all platforms, maybe we'll get the announcement, hey, Persona 4 Golden on PlayStation 4 and Switch. I, I think that's all I have to say on the matter. That that's really all there is to it. Am I looking forward to this game? Fucking of course. Am I hyped for it? Hell yeah. Am I worried? Not really. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I'm just not, I'm not, I'm not worried. And they're coming out and it, this will keep us satiated until persona 5 arena is announced and then we'll get high for that and then we'll well you know people will start playing persona 4 arena ultimax again if you want to support this game and you want it to get rollback buy the game play it buy the dlc whore yourselves out guys whore yourselves out dude that's what we gotta do <laughs> we gotta support the we gotta support them i, I know obviously right that like 
like, oh, why should we help? Why should we support them if they're not going to put rollback, right? You're basically asking them, hey, do all this work before you can, before I'll even buy your game, right? But they, they can't always do that. They can't do that, right? Because then what if you still don't buy the game? Then they did all that and they lost all that money. So show them some support. You know, buy the game. Buy some DLC if you like it. You don't have to buy all of it. Just buy the stuff you want. And if you really, really are dedicated to playing the game, they'll probably give us a rollback. Which would be weird, right? For a, for It would have to be a free rollback, though. That doesn't make sense, actually. You can't, we shouldn't be able to pay for it. Because then that would restrict certain players out of it, right? But eh, whatever. That'll probably be free, but then they'll give us like other DLC stuff. I don't know. It'll be something. Something. Something's gonna be. You're gonna have to pay for some DLC. Take it or leave it. If you already have four golden, then guess what? You're only gonna have to pay 20 bucks. If you haven't, then buy the fucking game. Buy Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Buy Persona 4 Golden on PC. Buy the collection. Buy one. Buy both. Buy them individually. Buy them. Whatever. Just buy the game. Just help them. Let them know that you're interested. Support them. Let them know that you want to play their game. Let them know that you want rollback. And that requires not only just, hey, just put rollback in your game and you're never going to buy it. Buy the fucking game. And tell and tell them, hey, we want rollback. There you go. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. YouTube. <sighs> requirements. But yes, please, if you want to see me do more of this. Uh, yeah. Hit that subscribe button as well. It's in. It's right there. It's free. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna be making videos like this all the time. Not all the time. When it's new stuff, I'll just throw up this, just to kind of talk at you. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day, however you choose to spend it. Stay golden. Bye.